of anyone else around. I will never take for granted the blessing it is to simply have a place to call home, where you can be all alone with those you love. Today, I consider myself very fortunate. Fortunate to be here with you and to be reconnected with the organization that once captured my imagination so many years ago. I feel privileged to be able to give back and proud to be a part of the Habitat community here in Waterloo Region. 1988 saw the inception of Habitat for Humanity in Waterloo Region, which has carried on the tradition of building community by helping working families with a hand up, not a hand down. By our 25th anniversary in 2013, we will have partnered with 100 families who will have become homeowners. Partner families are the working poor who earn in the range of $28,000 for a family of two to $54,000 a year for a family of six. These are families living at the poverty line. Families are comprised of one or two adults and one or more children. The Partner Family Committee works closely with families to ensure that they are able to meet the expenses of home ownership and have the training, knowledge, and skills to be successful homeowners. Families struggling at the poverty line often have to balance paying the rent and their utilities with other needs such as groceries. A great number of families with children in their community spend half or more of their income on rent. These families need to make tough decisions every day and are not able to plan for the future. They move often, which forces the children to change schools, disrupts relationships, and reduces their connections to the neighborhood and their community. Habitat for Humanity does not give homes to families. An independent appraisal sets the price of the home, which ensures the family pays the fair market value. In lieu of a down payment, families must contribute 250 hours of sweat equity. Sweat equity is the time and energy that a family puts towards habitat-related activities, including working on the build site, building the home and the homes of others, and volunteering in our resource. A habitat mortgage is an interest-free mortgage, and payments are calculated annually at 25% of the household's gross income. Every penny of the mortgage payment goes towards the cost of the home, and most homeowners pay their mortgage over within a 25-year period. The value of a stable home cannot be overstated. Houses help build homes, and homes help build hope. To share a bit about what owning a Habitat home has meant to her, I'd like to welcome Eleanor Fields, one of Habitat for Humanity Waterloo Region's partner families. I'd like to start by saying that I'm very humbled to hear a story like Melissa's, because unlike hers, ours turned out. 20 years ago, when we first heard about Habitat for Humanity, we were both hopeful and skeptical. How could this be people volunteering time, money, and effort to build a house for us, to give us a hand up? We met the qualifications and we were asked to partner with Habitat. Habitat partnership is not a lottery where you win a house and life is rosy, and you live happily ever after. It is a partnership, a hand up, up to living our lives connected to the larger community around us. We built our home alongside many volunteers who believed in us and the hope of assisting our family to a brighter future. As a result of their belief, Ken and I became more involved. Ken coached t-ball, hockey, soccer, baseball, and serves on the board of directors for Crime Stoppers. And I volunteer at our local school. In the beginning of our partnership, I would speak at various gatherings with other Habitat members about how Habitat impacted our lives at that time. At that time, we had hopes for our children, hopes for stable friendship and a better education, growing into responsible adults. Between then and now, we lived. There were births and deaths, illnesses and healings, famine and feast, laughter and tears, and many, many road hockey games. Having part of, of in a 13-home blitz build, 
We have great neighbors, some of whom became friends. Our street of habitat neighbors. We learn to lend and borrow, laugh and cry, garden and share barbecues together. We feel safe and we feel connected. On a deeper level, owning a home gave our children a place to root themselves and establish healthy relationships in a stable school setting. It also meant feeling good about themselves and the ability to reach a little higher to set goals that meant giving them an education to use their God-given gifts to again build their generation's community. We have raised our three boys with the goal of passing on the sense of giving back. Our oldest, Chris, is a mechanic. Ben has pursued the arts. And Dan is in a grade 12 and has done his community hours in the Habitat Restore. 20 years of partnership with Habitat for Humanity most certainly is a hand up and a fulfillment to a dream. And I thank you for this time today, and I ask you to continue doing as the Holy Spirit asks you to do in building up others in your community. Good morning. I'm Karen Redmond, and I'm an elder here at St. Andrews, and I need to tell you how um, incredibly honored I am to share this uh, time with all of you with uh, both Melissa and Ellie. Ellie has already referenced that she's part of a very strong team and I'd like to acknowledge her husband Ken who's sitting in the congregation. I guess Ellie got the short straw and she got to get up here and speak. She looked out at all of you and at the uh, lights for the cameras and she said to me, this is the sweat part of the sweat equity. <laughs> It is so fitting to be here today and be welcomed with such open arms by St. Andrews. Habitat for Humanity Water Region uh, celebrates many of the same things of the values that we hold at St. Andrews. Today we are acknowledging and celebrating Earth Week. And like this congregation and so many people in our community, Habitat is actively involved in reducing our footprint in the water in the region to be good stewards of our environment. Each year, our restore operations divert 650 metric tons from bridging water with uh, landfill sites. We also offer electronic recycling programs that divert old computers and other electronics from ending up in landfill. The restore operation enables people to reuse or repurpose household goods. Our stores and water in Cambridge generate enough funds to pay for all of the operations of Habitat for Humanity Water in the region. This means that every dollar, every dollar makes, goes directly to build a house to help a family, help a family transform their life. Working on a build site provides quality volunteer experience for many individuals and groups as well. During our last build project, we have uh, benefited from local volunteers who have given approximately 10,000 hours of volunteer time working for our local affiliate. <coughs> now, Habitat, we strongly depend on volunteers. These volunteers may be professionally trained tradespeople who are donating their expertise and a portion of their time. Or, like me, when I first volunteered, it can be a first time home builder who has never even hammered a single nail. Newcomers, well, maybe a few thumbs, but no nails. <laughs> Newcomers have the opportunity to learn construction skills in a supportive and safe environment. And everybody walks away with a sense of pride and accomplishment, being able to give back to their community. Individual donors and corporations such as Manu Life Financial and Toyota provide financial support, as well as enthusiastic teams of volunteers. Many volunteers say they return after their initial experience because they enjoy the experience. And there's nothing more gratifying than immediately seeing the value of their time and energy. And you know, there's something very special that occurs as volunteers work side by side with neighbors and friends, as well as with the families who will live in their home, and they know that they're helping build community. I joined the 
Board of Habitat for Humanity Waterloo Region in 2009 because I wanted to be part of this organization. An organization that makes a profound difference in our community and produces immediate, ongoing results for families. I first became involved in the Women's Build of 2000. Now that was a wonderfully exhausting experience. I learned a lot, but most importantly, I had a great time. Great time working with other citizens and alongside the lady who was head of that house who would eventually live in the home that we were building. Much like we at St. Andrews, Habitat acts locally as well as locally. In today's church bulletin, highlights uh, are made of some of the activities of the local outreach committee. It talks about our congregation support for the YMCA Mary's Place, KW Counseling, St. John's Kitchen, and Ray of Hope. And I know these are just a few of the many other agencies that we support. The bulletin also makes note of our national outreach committee and the support that we provide for ch children's education in Malawi and support to pay the salary of the school teacher in the school in the dump in Guatemala City. In a similar manner, as in other international organizations, we at Habitat and Waterloo Region are a member of Habitat International. Our local organization financially supports international initiatives through Tithe. We're in church, we know what Tithe means, right? This support builds homes in Africa, Indonesia, and South America. The impacts of our community's generosity are felt within Waterloo Region and throughout the world. Now there are three ways that you can become involved in this amazing partnership of building community in Waterloo Region. If you know of a family who could benefit from becoming a partner family with Habitat, please direct them to our website and call Habitat to learn what the process is and how they uh, become part of the selection process. If you have anything you'd like to donate to the ReStore or you'd like to recycle electronics, please think of us. And if you have time to donate, we're always thrilled to have new builders on site to help build our homes. It's a very rewarding experience. And I would also remind you that every dollar donated goes directly into building homes for someone in our community. As Ellie and Melissa have so eloquently illustrated, Habitat not only offers a hand up, not a handout to hardworking families, but indeed Habitat continues to transform our lives. Thank you so much for having us here today.
but we have an exciting baptism to do, and so I'm going to pour out this water as the symbol of God's abundant love poured out in the world. The love that says, you are all beloved and acceptable to me, spread my love to everyone whom you meet. And at this point, I would love it if Hunter would come on up with Tracy and with Jason, and Carter and Owen come on up, and if Amber and Bob would come along too. Come on in behind through here, Tracy, and then we'll make space Space up there for the sponsors. Hi, Carter and Owen. How are you guys doing? Are you going to help out with the baptism today? Excellent. And welcome, Amber and Bob. Great to see you here. When Jesus came into the world, he came to a people who didn't know how deep and broad God's love was. But he said to them, my Father loves all people, and I want you to go out into the world, baptizing all the nations in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So this baptism is the outward sign and seal of the death and resurrection of Christ, of our dying and rising in Him, of the ingrafting into God's family, the forgiveness of sins, and the new life that begins when first we receive the love of Christ. Jason and Tracy, I put this question to you and ask you to respond by saying, I do. Do you confess of your faith in God as your Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ as your Savior, and the Holy Spirit as your Sanctifier? And do you promise that you will raise Hunter with an awareness of God's wonderful love? All right. Do you want to come and see me, Hunter? It's good to see you today. And you can have a smiling face. I hope so. And to the sponsors, Amber and Bob, I put this question. Will you do all within your power to see that Hunter grows up <laughs> knowing the love of God? Thank you. Oh, should I ask you a question too? Carter and Owen, do you promise that you will be kind and gentle to your little brother so that he will know God's love is in you? Yes. Okay. Good. And I'm... Oh, okay. Oh, and you were once a baby. You and you were both babies once. It's incredible. It's... <laughs> we were all babies once. And look, these people over here, they are all your family, sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ. And they all love you. And they all care about you very, very much. And look at these shining faces over here. These are people. They are the church. God's children. And now Hunter, Jason, David, Mitchell Moffat baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. And I can require to say the blessing for you too.
Sunday School has a presentation of First Bible. Thank you very, very much. Now, I'm going to give you back because you're being very good. If you want to see your pumpkin, you'll see your mom. And for the sponsors, we have certificates of sponsorship. Thank you, Amber and Bob. Thank you. God bless you. And a certificate of baptism for Hunter. I'll give you that to Dad. That's a certificate for a week at Camp Faith. And thank you all so much. And you can be seated. Well, what's your question? Decepticons? No, they scare me. 